Hello friends and welcome back. Welcome to the last session of uh, Industrial IoT. Okay, let's start with the main topic here, how the IoT and IIoT are differentiated. The things which are common, uh, which are mentioned at the center of it, uh, if you are comparing IoT and IIoT. Data management, uh, connectivity, okay, data management, connectivity, data security, secure clouds, these things are common in it. But if you consider basic IoT, so basic IoT, is uh, for household usage or for the commercial sectors will be making use of it. So, are the common application that IoT will have. But I IoT will have the industrial sector. So, industrial applications in almost all kind of industries, including computer IT industries, automobile industries, manufacturing industries, or aviation industries, oil, gas, like all. Everywhere we are going to make use of the IoT. That's the main difference uh, that we can achieve between IoT and I IoT. Let's focus on more. Uh, so, IoT it, connect, IoT, it connects machine and devices in such industries like oil and gas, utilities and manufacturing. IoT will have system failures and downtime in IoT deployments can result in high risk situations or even life threatening situations also. That's the main part. But in basic IoT, it's not the case. It is secondary part means when you implement and uh, we, do, we don't have any high risk situations in basic IoT. But IoT system should be perfect. Why? Because industries are working on the high risk situations, even life threatening situations also. That's why system failures must be almost equal to 0%. IoT applications are also concerned with improved efficiency and improved health or safety versus the user centric nature of the IoT applications. So basically, I IoT applications are centralized towards the industrial things only, where IoT is user centric so user is there and that user is handling the systems and based on that we are going to uh, implement or make use of the particular iot system that we have achieved from there this is these are the common differences that iot and iiot is having their architecture may be almost common just like um, the brain of the uh, different different um, uh, different different animals they are almost uh, the brain is common but their architecture uh, somewhat different everywhere and they are uh, their operations are also somewhat different but overall in general in common architecture of brain is same for almost all kind of animals like that now common applications where we can uh, make use of the iiot in industries okay so common industrial applications in <laughs> manufacturing sectors factory or manufacturing sectors we can implement uh, the iiot easily uh, smart grid yes electricity uh, applications that is smart power and utility applications smart communication so in communication industries also uh, <coughs> we are having the uh, huge uh, applications of uh, iiot where it can be implemented easily smart city one of the now trends in that so uh, when city corporations are making the things online they are making uh, the things automated just like uh, take an example of uh, traffic signal uh, a city want to city corporation wants to uh, automate the traffic signals based on the traffic flow can i do that it's not yet implemented in any of the cities in india but it can be done we can uh, make this traffic signals green and red as per the traffic flow on the roads okay just an example i mentioned so in this way we can make use of these iot applications so much easily okay even uh, if you consider toll plaza toll plaza uh, by the uh, road uh, transfer departments what they have made they have made fast tag now fast tag is also one of the application of iot so this is how iot applications can be implemented in the smart cities uh, even smart cars uh, smart just take an example of it some companies have uh, manufactured many devices like you need to check the pressure air pressure in the wheels of the car so there are some devices available by which you can connect with your will you can talk with the will and you can find its properties easily on a mobile also so, just an example I mentioned, smart car, uh, even some uh, camera that they are put at the back of the car and when another car is coming close to your car, so you will get an alarm, you will get a siren, we can get uh, uh, a system by which you can just get informed by this that a car is coming closer to you. That's Okay, this is what the uh, applications of uh, the IoT in smart car or in robotics, almost uh, many applications are now getting done in the industries by the robotic mechanisms and to control that robot to make this robot automated we can make use of the iot applications so these are the commonly iot systems where uh, the iot can be implemented easily 
not easily basically uh, it can be implemented and we can achieve the benefits of it we can make it uh, automated system through the iot now what are the vendors so see there are the commonly uh, common vendors i just mentioned who are working on iot system design uh, just like ability by bbb abb sorry a power and robotics company is there iot system by cisco you might have heard about this name as a networking company filled by the uh, fanuc supplier of industry automation equipments predix by ge digital energy management company or honeywell so it's a software industry company is also providing this connected performance services <coughs> in iot okay or uh, kuka okay yes that's a that's a robot actually kuka uh, so manufacturing industrial robot created in partnership with infosys and it consulting firm from india even wonderware by uh, schneider electric energy management company and the mindsphere by siemens and industry manufacturing company these are the top companies cisco or ibm abb g digital honeywell or the kuka or schneider electric or siemens these companies are working in the iot product development okay if you just go to google and just type it uh, iot vendors in india you will get a lots of companies there uh, which are working on the iot even uh, we also in mitskill logics we also work on the iot based projects and uh, not yet product development but project development the service uh, providers on iot lot many companies are there which are providing the services uh, here in uh, india also what is the future that uh, i iot industrial iot will have uh, so ben and company predicted uh, the industrial iot applications will generate more than 300 million dollars by 2020 double that of the consumer in iot segment okay that's what we have having 150 million dollars only iot and i iot that's what uh, at the start of the session i told two third share of iot is there in i iot only and one third will be there in the basic iot similarly idc research reported the top 3 industries investing in i iot in 2018 are manufacturing okay top 3 industries for manufacturing only that is 189 billion dollars with a focus on asset management transportations with 85 million billion with focus on freight monitoring and fleet management and utilities with 73 billion, billion with the focus on the smart grids and consumer iot spending with reach 62 billion dollars okay so here manufacturing companies are on the top which are uh, basically implementing the iot application so much effectively more optimistically uh, accenture okay might be a multinational company uh, they are having i their branch in branches in uh, india also expects i iot to add uh, 14.2 trillion dollar to the economy in the same time period growing at 7.3% compound annual rate through 2020 this is our what predictions are 14.2 trillion dollars in the economy okay remember that's what the expectations from the industrial iot so uh, when we are going to boost the economy so it will be considered that i iot application so much uh they should be effectively implemented in the industries so that we can achieve the uh the compartment to the uh, economy so much benefit okay now uh basically see iot we talked about the iot but uh, there is a consortium okay which maintaining the communication between the or among the companies who are working on iot basically so this is what i i i c is the industrial internet consortium it was founded in the march 2014 to bring together the organizations and the technologies necessary to accelerate the growth of the industrial internet by identifying assembling testing and promoting the best practices in the iot sector basically so they are working from last 6 years for organizations who are working on the iot members were collaboratively to speed the commercial use of the advanced technologies okay commercial use of the advanced technologies how to implement that they were collaboratively over there membership includes small and large technology inno- innovators uh, vertical market leaders researchers universities and government organizations lot many companies we are working on the iot sectors not only basic companies all kind of innovative companies research companies vertical market leaders researchers universities also and government, government organizations also they are now the part of ii consortium industrial internet consortium you can just check it out their web Uh, on that particular website all information their activities and the information about the iiot can also be achieved you can just check it out this particular website iiciiconsortium.org now uh, let's focus on the future now so uh, we talked about iiot but now what can be the future 
factory of the future check it out so this is just an example i just taken by uh, from the cb insights uh, how the factory of the future can be built okay see many things which are uh, mentioned over here uh, just check it out there are the unmanned trucks unmanned trucks huh? make sure unmanned trucks uh, now computer vision here we are making use of this camera to capture the products goods with the help of image processing we find the quality of this manufactured goods okay yeah then blockchain uh, you might have heard about the blockchain so blockchain is a novel technology today used for the cryptography enterprise resource planning and supply chain management here we can make use of it blockchain and with the help of that this generation of security or resource planning erp can also be done here we come with the predictive machine analytics now whatever the machines which are used what are the performance of this how performance is growing performance is decreasing that we can man easily find by using predictive machine analytics there is a technology called a machine learning it's a part of artificial intelligence with the help of that this prediction uh, can be easily done or even uh, you might have heard about ar and vr augmented reality okay so industrial augmented reality that can also be uh, used over here <coughs> even virtual reality also you just can uh, without uh, directly operating the machine <coughs> virtually we can create a simulation of it okay like as yes, we can make here we are using iot sensors for supply chain management we just find ki how much uh, things are remaining and what's the need of manufacturing in future that's we can find by using iot sensors then modular equipments common modular equipments by which a computer can read uh, computer can check okay these are the machines in which this particular way uh, the product should be manufactured so that will be taken these are the modular equipment which will be used by the computer systems and coming all these things together one more thing is there called as cobots okay collaborative robots that uh, also we can use over here okay they are also uh, controlled by the iot system so this is how the factory of the future can be now is just look at the factory only two employees are there in this particular picture okay uh, the disadvantage is that we are going to reduce the number of employees but remember i would also create the opportunities for new employment remember i would also having so <coughs> we need to grab that particular uh, skills to be the part of iiot so skills are changing employability is constant it's also not increasing much but it's almost at the continuous continual level continual level is there now revenue market so what what revenues are uh, expected so from industrial arc analysis and expert insights i have taken this one industrial internet of things market revenue from 2015 to 2021 is growing continuously in the million dollars so obviously uh, this is a novel technology which is achieving many advantages in the industry so obviously it's growing fastly and it's a need of industry that they need to implement the iot systems within their industries there okay so that's what the uh, achievement that we can take out of it and what are the challenges <laughs> most of the challenges are there. i i just taken the common challenges here uh, the main challenge is security id security issues which are greatly aggravated by the inherent need to open up those previously closed production jobs okay security issues then uh, we may have the reliability and stability also uh, needed for critical machine to machine communication including very short and stable latency times or need to protect industrial know how okay every industry is contain its own own area or own uh, process of manufacturing okay so they, they we need to protect that know how lack of adequate skill set expedite march the march toward the fourth industrial revolution so building this system handling this systems needs the manpower okay so that skill set is inadequate so that should be improved uh, loss of many jobs to automate processes this so already I, i told about loss of many jobs to automate processes and it control processes especially for low educated parts of the society low educated part of the society okay they will be uh, affected by this particular system okay because they are not having qualification and uh, they will work as a worker if the machine is doing the task of worker so this common workers will be jobless unclear legal issues and data security so uh, cyber security uh, laws should be uh, they are not yet so much strong so much perfect so that should be uh, changed or that should be affected also lack of uh, regulation standard 
form of certification. So some companies are, I have showed about this, IIC. IIC is working on that regulation standard form of certifications. But uh, these things are changing company to company. These things are changing uh, country to country also. And uh, even uh, policies of the industry also, they are different. So this regulatory body is standardization and certification. Okay, this is still lagging. It will take some years to uh, make it standardized. Then only this process can be perfectly done. And the last one is insufficient qualification of employees. So employees are not yet qualified to handle these IoT systems, to create the IoT systems. Companies are now taking initiatives to uh, train their employees or uh, they are already trained employees. Like uh, they are already having qualification of engineering or any computer applications. But uh, they are not knowing the IoT systems. They are not knowing how to create it. They are not knowing how to handle it. That's why these qualifications of complete detailed uh, analysis, detailed use of the IoT is still not there. Uh, companies are working individually on that and even IIS is also working on that to improve the qualification of the employees on the IoT systems. Okay, so that's it. That's from uh, uh, my point of view how IoT and industrial IoT are actually differentiated, how uh, the impact of them, how they're exactly been put and uh, what we can achieve, what we can say, what we have to learn, what we have to make for, what we have to use, what we need in future. So that things what we have discussed in all the sessions and my summary is there on the screen. Just check it out. In and out of things is only a tip of an iceberg. So just check it out. What we have seen, it is above the sea level, water level and what we are going to use, what we are going to learn in future, it is below the sea level. Okay. <laughs> tip of an iceberg. And uh, many things that you have to learn by yourself, maybe in upcoming sessions, we'll be learning many things. We just have to practice it. You have to make sure that you are knowing the architecture, you are knowing the systems, how it's perfectly built, how it is, uh, how it is uh, perfectly implemented. Uh, private practical point of view, I'm talking about. Uh, many companies are there, just visit that companies which are working, which are already deployed the IoT applications within them. Maybe IT companies also deployed, many manufacturing companies also, automobile companies also. Uh, everywhere that IoT systems are deployed, uh, now everyone has deployed. Remember that it's not like a, all they are working on traditional systems. Everywhere is deployed. Just look at that. Make a case study. We just search on some videos on YouTube, uh, which are showing the IoT and IoT applications also, by which we can get a clear idea how uh, the things can be effectively implemented. Still, still there are too much scope for improvement present possible. If you want to work on these projects, if you want to work on some kind of the systems which work on IoT, just you can look at that particular system which are already implemented so that <laughs> your ideas can be easily added inside it. Okay, so you just can learn the IoT and this is just a beginning for learning the things. Many things are available in future, just uh, you can go through that. And uh, if you have any doubts or any questions regarding the same, you just can contact uh, me on the given web resources or the given mail IDs or on the uh, given uh, social networking links also. Thank you. Thanks a lot.